And just like that, we are back. So I feel like I owe you guys a little bit of an explanation. So first of all, my wife and I, we just bought our first house. So there was some moving around. I haven't posted a long form video in over a month now. I apologize for that, but we are back. One video a week, minimum. Hoping to get out more than that, but I need to set my expectations realistically with daily short form video. And once I can nail down one a week, then we can up it. But first of all, I figured I'd give you a little bit of a studio tour. We've only been here a month, but I've already changed things quite a bit. But I think I finally found a perfect spot to start recording on mainstream the short form videos have been looking the same recently i've kind of gotten a format down for that with the new space so right here entrance we have my shelf trusty dusty amazon shelf i have stuff here that's going in and out current packages or stuff that i need to record something just to keep organized over here my big bad new tv 65 inch had to get a big one. I did mount this. I think it looks pretty good. Old TV stand there. We got the Xbox. We got a sound system. One thing that did come with this place is this really cool wood wall. I'm really liking it. I almost thought about painting it. I don't know yet. I kind of like the wood. It keeps it warmer. But if it was painted gray or black or white, different accents, it could add a lot of texture. Renona Kicks. This is kind of the intermediate B-roll station. A couple of Ikea countertops that I can swap in and out to get some new looks for B-roll. You'll see that here in this video. Otherwise, nothing crazy there. And then here is the main recording spot. So first of all, shout out Deadstock Anatomies. We're gonna be doing a giveaway on one of those coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. And then I do have a couple of my lights here, nothing crazy. And then in terms of the backdrop, here's all my kind of grail sneakers, crazy stuff. I got my new cause fours. I got my 85 Chicago's that should probably be in a better spot. Crenshaw SBs. And then here is a shelf of just some goodies. Shout out Blazendary mini shoe from the 90s. My Off-White 2 is my new Anthony Edwards bobblehead. Love it. Some mics, some Legos, and then my brand new filming chair. Shout out Viper chairs for the insane custom chair. Super cool. And then here, we got a stack of shoes that we are gonna be unboxing. So let's get to it. All right, so I do have quite a few cool boxes here. Let's just kinda, let's go to the left, to the right. It's Under Armour one, that's where we're getting special. So let me take these down here. So the first one on this list, we have the brand new Devin Booker ones. I tried to get the first colorway, was not successful like a lot of people. I was successful on getting the second colorway. This is the Mirage V2, which I don't know why they're calling it the V2. There's only been one Mirage colorway, but orange Devin Booker text right there. Boom, super cool. I did do an unboxing on these on shorts but they are a recent pickup, so I figured I'd show them here. I'm a big fan of them. I like the material. The toe box is super nice. The crispy translucent outsole. And there is something funny about these because there's actually two different versions of this shoe. There's the US version, and then there's the overseas Asian exclusive, which has an XDR outsole, which is not translucent, but it's meant for outdoor basketball court. So, so if you want me to get a pair into those and review them and compare them, then let me know. But this pair, pretty cool. My favorite part is that layering. On the back heel it just looks super cool there's a lot of potential that you could do there booker on the tongue big big fan of these i like them honestly i think i'm going to be wearing them out and about a lot more on the basketball court i mean i i just don't i don't know i haven't tried them on the basketball court yet but i don't see where this could be as good of a performance shoe as let's say kobe sixes or ae1s so maybe i gotta just try them out all right up next pretty cool one here not something i would typically buy but shut up puma and fenty for this package really really cool box high quality we got that nice reflective text fenty with the puma logo on top we also have puma on the side good box it's it just goes unnoticed sometimes oh so <laughs> This is not a pair that I would normally wear, but I am glad that I got them in because they look super cool. So first of all, before looking at the shoes, little drawstring bag there with some silk bands. But the shoe themselves is pretty crazy. It's got cow fur all over the top. It looks wild. It is in hand. It's It looks exactly how it is on camera. It's just the wild shoe that you gotta come up with a crazy outfit to actually wear. You get Fenty on the tongue. The tongue actually flips up. You can see Puma on the underside of the tongue. The material actually feels really soft. I like it. The inside leather behind the heel is super high quality. It's really nice, good, thick leather. And then the outsole I'm actually a fan of too. It's this dot-like design that I feel like you'd have a lot of good traction with. And then you also get some gold lace tips. So 
pretty cool pair fenty pumas next pair here is super cool the converse weapons larry bird used to rock converse back in the day this is a really cool package as well this was actually shipped to my old apartment so it was supposed to come like a month ago I got a call that's saying, hey, there's a package here. If you want to come get it, otherwise we're going to return it to the sender. So I drove an hour, went and got it. Glad I did because this package is insane. Shout out Champs and Converse for this package here. Create history, not hype. Pretty interesting there. We get another box, box inside of a box, but we also get a little drawstring bag here. It's always the extras that come in the box. That's, that's my favorite part, special box unboxings. Gotta be the coolest. So we get a pair of socks here, Converse on the bottom tan and black i'm liking that two stripe design and then we also get ooh, we get a little chain we get a little drip here converse silver bracelet i'm not a big jewelry guy but i like it converse drawstring bag but actually looking at the shoes here that converse star on top boom so these are the converse weapons little pamphlet here i'm assuming talking about some of the history and stuff that is exactly what we are talking about. So these were first released in 1986 at the NBA All-Star Weekend. They was worn in both the three-point contest and the All-Star game by the biggest players. And it was first introduced in that iconic purple and gold colorway. We also get a couple of different colorways here. And now one of the faces of the brand is Shy Gildas Alexander. Big fan of him. He's a, he's a weapon on both sides of the court. Weapon. There you go, Converse weapon. And here we have the actual shoe itself. Now, honestly, I'm a pretty big fan of these. I actually have I've never had a pair of Converse's. Chuck Taylor's are pretty popular here in Minnesota, but, but the Converse weapon, I think I'm more of a fan of. And gray and white, can't really go wrong. Next one here is brought to you by our sponsor, Kicks Crew. So if you haven't heard of Kicks Crew, they currently have Kyrie Irving and Damian Lillard as investors. They recently launched Austin Reeves and Nikola Jokic's signature shoe. And it's definitely a company you should keep your eyes on in the next few years. Now, flashback a few months to SneakerCon Bay Area. I actually met some of the team at Kicks Crew when they were launching Austin Reeves' first signature shoe in the Lakers colorway. I was a big fan of the shoe and the team was super nice. And their whole mission is to bring Chinese basketball shoes to the US. US, which I'm a big fan of because I've reviewed everything from Way of Wades to Leanings to Austin Reeves shoes to maybe Kyrie Irving's new shoe. And Chinese shoes have a good price point and they're usually really high quality from what I've seen. Now Kickscrew is also an online marketplace that only uses verified sellers. So when you buy a shoe, you know it's authentic. So I grabbed a pair, I had to double up on these. These are the Kobe 6 Reverse Grinches. And probably my favorite thing about it is you would think Chinese shoes, they take a while to ship, but they actually showed up in only a few days, which was pretty impressive. So we got the Kobe 6 Reverse Grinch here. Loving that Mamba themed box. Boom. These are one of the best shoes that dropped last year, without a doubt. And you can also see that gigantic Kicks Crew hang tag there, so you know where they came from. And back when the original green pair dropped, I ended up hitting a pair for retail, and I sold them just because I did not think I would wear them. And I wish I didn't do that, and so I had to double up on the reverse Grinches, so I didn't look back in 20 years thinking, hey, why didn't I buy a pair of these shoes? I actually hit a pair for retail, and then I picked these up on Kicks Crew, so I'm good to go in the Kobe 6 reverse Grinch era. All right, now keeping it going, this is probably my favorite shoe out of the bunch that I'm actually going to be wearing. I ended up buying a pair. I thought the colorway was cool. I didn't know anything about Earl's collection or this collab at all. But I'm glad that I got a pair because it might be a top 10 sneaker this year. So first of all, this box, insane looking. It looks like coffee or chocolate with that mint A6 logo on top. So when we open it up here, I did wear these to the gym yesterday. You get that all green inside of the box. So they are unlaced, but man, oh man, am I glad I wore them because they are super comfortable. Now you also get sail laces, which I'm kind of contemplating dropping in there. I'm not sure yet, but these are the Asics Earl's collection and it's not Earl, it's Earl's with an S. Now this shoe is just simply mint chocolate chip. That's what my wife called them and I completely agree. You get super soft green laces that are the perfect length for when you're walking or running in these. You also get a really nice brown suede throughout the entire shoe. And then you also get this almost hemp-like woven design on the outside. It feels like a picnic basket almost. I really like it in hand. I feel like it's gonna be a nightmare to clean when it gets dirty, but for being a brand new pair of shoes, it looks pretty damn cool. You also get Asics gel on the back with the Earl's collection on the side on that green print. Get a little hint of green suede on the back. I like that. Asics logo on the tongue. And probably my favorite part is this outsole brown green 
green and then you get a little fade. And I gotta mention this because it's super cool. The insoles are a crazy design that I'm really liking accent piece because insoles you really don't ever see, but they look really cool when you do something fun with them. So shout out Earl's collection. They killed this. And as of now, this is a top five sneaker this year. Obviously we have a lot more time left, but I think that this is gonna end in the top 10 for me. Definitely pick up a pair. I feel like prices are gonna shoot up on these. All right, so we got two absolute heaters left. Jordan one box, you're probably like, oh, it's another pair of Jordan ones. We got the orchids or the black and whites. No, this pair does not release for multiple months yet. It was supposed to drop here in March or late February, but it actually got delayed until June or July, maybe even August. A store unnamed actually dropped their stock early and they actually shipped. So I got a pair early for retail, super hyped about it. Regular Jordan 1 box, which I wish they would have done something fun with it. Let's open it up here. I haven't even looked at these yet, so. Oh my goodness. These are good. These are really good. Let's get that paper out of here so I can actually talk. So this is definitely a top 10 sneaker of the year. God, this video is just loaded with heat. I can't promise loaded heat videos every week, but I'm gonna try to get some good stuff. So this, I've been waiting for these to drop for months now. I finally got a pair. It is the Jordan 1 High 85 metallic red or the burgundy red now this might just look like a super simple shoe but i really like about it is it's that 85 shape you get that size 11 print on the inside like the original 85s and since we're here let me just compare it to my pair of 85s so that you can get an idea of what it looks like so on 85s you get a straight up and down back heel which i really like essentially straight a lot more than the new ones and that's what you get on these as well i really like the look of it it just looks good now the red i was expecting to be a lot brighter here's a pair of chicago's red here is a pair of the metallic reds. It's more of a burgundy red, which I like. It's more muted. That 85 midsole, loving that. The toe box is definitely a lot higher than other Jordan 1s, especially the recent releases. What's cool about the 85s is they include the original Jordan Jumpman hang tag as well. I like that little detail. And it gives you some details about the shoe and the design and stuff that they did for this model. But I definitely got to lace these up, get them out on the streets because they are just a beautiful pair of shoes. Let me take a quick photo for the Instagram. We got one pair left and you might be thinking Under Armour box. I don't know how I could top the Earl's collection or the 85 Jordan 1s or even those Kobe 6s, but this is by far the coolest pair. Maybe in my entire collection, it's just I'm in shock to even own it. So I got to give a extremely grateful thank you to Andy Dutton, AD Sneaks on Instagram. We've become good friends over the last couple of years. He's one of my favorite sneaker photographers and just photographers in general. I met him probably a couple years ago, right when he was kind of at the beginning of his journey on content. I was at the beginning of mine and I just knew his content was A1. People were gonna notice it and now he's blown up. I think he's at like a quarter million followers on Instagram, but his sneaker art, his sneaker photography is some of the best in the community, if not the best. And so when I saw this partnership, Bud, I was super happy for him. He's now doing the photography for Under Armour while that comes with some perks. So he posted these on his Instagram story and he actually shot me a DM before I even saw it. And he said, hey, do you want these? Now what I'm about to show you is one of the rarest shoes in my collection, if not the rarest. And I'm never gonna wear these. I can't, it's too special. I'm going to have them on display. I think I'm going to put them in the podcast room so you can see them every episode. And I think without further ado, we just open these up. Under Armour box. I got to be careful with these. The cool part about these is that sample tag. So these are not an ordinary pair of Under Armours. These are not for sale to the public. Nobody has these. Now, I'm not sure how many pairs of these are in the public. As far as I know, it's just one. And these have a pretty cool connection to my home team, the Minnesota Vikings. First of all, shout out Andy. Nice little note. The GOAT. <laughs> so first of all, you probably are looking at these like, what are these pink Under Armour shoes? So these are an exclusive player's edition PE Justin Jefferson Under Armour shoe. Now I'll get into more details here, but let me show you the shoe here first. You get that custom sample PE tag right there that gives you all the details. It is a Speed Foam Gemini Series 23, Pink Dawn Halo Gray Metallic Gold. It is a promo sample for previews only. And overall, it just looks like a really comfortable shoe. It's got some crazy details. You got some flowers on the back, 48, 25 on the lace it on the toe box. You also get a gold Under Armour and my favorite 
detail by far is Justin Jefferson doing the gritty on the insole. I mean, how cool is that? Saw so some more details on these. They're inspired by the suit that JJ wore to NFL awards night. And this is the pair that Under Armour actually gave to Justin Jefferson at the beginning of last season. Now, honestly, I'm still just in disbelief that I own these and that they were gifted to me. I mean, Andy is just the best. I could not recommend anyone to follow anyone better in the community. I mean, he's just, He's the best. So I think I need to get a special case for these to put in the background of our podcast episode, the Beyond Kicks podcast. If you haven't checked it out with Seth and I, I'll link it below. You can check it out. We got a 50 plus episodes on there and we're just kicking them out weekly, but we took a gap week because Seth's on vacation. So I'm kind of building that out over the next week. And I think that these need to go on display in the background just because they are absolutely insane. So that'll do it for this video. Thank you for watching. We're back on YouTube. Let me know of any content that you guys want to see here in the next months i got some ideas already and some stuff already in the works so stay tuned for that otherwise thank you for watching catch you later peace